Election Day, everybody. Our show is preempted by NBC election coverage tonight, but we wanted to give you one last piece while you're waiting for results. Here's my brother, Josh Myers, who sometimes looks like California Governor Gavin Newsom and other times looks like Matthew McConaughey. Enjoy, make sure you vote, and we'll see you on the other side. Good afternoon. I know I haven't spoken to you in a hot minute, and I say hot minute because my great state of California is on fuego, and not in the good way. The state is literally on fire. As you all know, today is election day. We sent vote by mail ballots to everyone in the state, because if you haven't noticed, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Oh, and also the state is on fuego. Sorry, ponytails just getting tied a little bit tight these days. Also, ever since the new Postmaster General, Louis DeJoy, the human equivalent of Frontier Airlines' lost luggage department took over, it's been harder and harder to trust the mail. Which is why, in California, if you're mailing your ballot, it needs to be postmarked by today. But we'll still accept and count those ballots as long as they're physically received by November 20th. You heard me right. 17 days later, and guess what, everybody? It's fine. You know, part of me wants to say that California is a toss-up state. I'd love to give Republicans a glimmer of hope and say, oh, we don't know who's going to win. Maybe California will go to Trump. But really, we already know. Because California is solid Biden country. Suck it, OC. But in a lot of states, anything can happen. Not only in the presidential election, but also in down-ballot races. For example, here in California, the San Joaquin Valley road choda Devin Nunes is favored to win re-election. So truly, anything can happen. Now, Texas is a true toss-up. And for that, I'd like to check in with my bro-ham from below ham, Mr. Matthew McConaughey. Hey, McConaughey here. I've got a new memoir on the bookshelves called Green Lights. It's a concept that there are signals in your life that tell you when the road is open, when you're clear for takeoff, when you are good to go. Ergo, green lights. Right now, you have a green light to go vote. Voting is supposed to reflect the will of the people, but will the people make sure their voices are heard this year? Lines will be long, voting machines are bound to break down, and it's always raining somewhere. Red lights are flashing, so it's up to you to turn them green. And sure, you may have a plan, but the best laid plans of mice and men oft go awry. So if you encounter a roadblock, jump over it. If someone tries to intimidate you, stand strong because you are an American and you have the right to vote as long as you do it right. For example, I wanted to fill in my ballot using an eagle feather dipped in bull's blood, but I ended up using a pen with blue or black ink because apparently them's the rules. And hey, if you're thinking about sitting this one out, you know you're going to watch the news later on tonight, get a little election post-game coverage, but your vote is a ticket to the game itself. So let your voice be heard, because despite how much you might want to numb yourself to everything that's going on right now, I can promise you this. Whatever happens tomorrow, you're going to feel it. Just like when you hear a thunder crack followed by a rumble in your belly telling you you have less than 10 seconds to make it to a toilet, otherwise there will be significant repercussions. So look, today is tomorrow's yesterday. So don't miss the opportunity to prematurely rid yourself of any regrets that you might have in the future because what you do today has a chance to change said future and opportunities like that don't come around every yesterday. Got it? Green lights.